Hey guys, Jared here. Uh, well, if you've already watched my review of the Minix Neo Z64 Android TV box, then you'll know that it's a great TV box for entertainment, but what about the people who want something for both entertainment and productivity? Well, this is the Minix Neo Z64 mini fanless PC with Windows 8.1 loaded onto it right out of the box. Uh, specs include a 64-bit Intel Bay Trail CPU with integrated Intel graphics, uh, 2 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage, Wi-Fi 802.11n, and Bluetooth 4.0. Now looking at the unit itself, at the front we have an IR blast receiver, which doesn't really make a lot of sense seeing as it doesn't come with the remote. Uh, and beside that is the blue power indicator light. On the left is the Wi-Fi antenna, and on the right we have our power button, micro SD card slot, and two USB ports. Uh, on the back is our 3.5 millimeter auxiliary, HDMI, network, and power ports. So as I mentioned before, it comes running Windows 8.1 right out of the box. Unfortunately, the Windows license doesn't follow the user, it follows the device. So if you sell it later on, the Windows license will go along with the box. Well, anyways, getting into the review, I have to say, what an awesome little PC. I mean, if all you're doing is browsing the web, email, and watching content, then this little bugger is perfect for you. And what's really cool is that it doesn't come preloaded with any bloatware from third-party software companies. Now, Cody, otherwise known as XBMC, doesn't come preloaded as I was led to believe by the XBMC logo printed on the side of the box. So if you want that, you'll just have to simply download it. But I think all of you are more than capable of doing that yourselves. A performance is going to be the big deciding factor here for a lot of people. And well, for its intended use, it passes that test with flying colors, uh, navigating around the settings and UI is a breeze with no lag or stutters. Uh, loading up web pages in Chrome is fast and scrolling and navigating around pages is smooth for the most part, but depending on how much content a page might have, it can tend to be a tiny bit clunky, but quickly smooths out after the cache has been given a chance to load. A Plex was super easy and fast to install and playing back my shows and movies showed no signs whatsoever of stuttering or frame drops. And content loaded quickly and the image quality was great. And even though it doesn't natively support 4K resolution, it'll still play it back with stunning sharpness in a 1080p signal format. And when it comes to playing games, mobile games is what you're gonna wanna look at because desktop games are just too much for the integrated Intel graphics. And that said, mobile games games play near flawlessly with only a few hiccups by frames dropped when playing action intense games. But again, colors and image quality was great and really sharp. Uh, so all in all, no complaints with regard to the entertainment or performance side of things. And multitasking is also handled really well, as you can see while I switch between games and apps. Uh, now one thing I did want to mention about the audio, if like me, you plan on simply using the audio through the HDMI cable. Right click on the sound settings, select playback devices, and then select your TV and then make that the default audio device. And then reboot and you should be able to hear audio coming from both the device and any browser you use. Otherwise, you'll just get audio through one and not the other. So things I like about the Neo Z64 Windows version, it's small and compact enough to take with you anywhere, like relocating from the office to the living room. In, in fact, I'm in love with the idea that you could quite easily make this a dedicated living room media PC or actually use it as your full-on desktop PC since it has the perfect amount of performance for its intended use especially when thinking about the price which is a fraction of what you'd pay for almost any other desktop Windows PC. That said if you're wanting to do any video editing or serious photoshopping or serious gaming you're far better off looking at a much more powerful desktop or laptop PC but for literally everyone else this is one awesome tiny computer that I'd have no problem recommending for your mom, dad, grandparents, or even yourself if you're wanting something for light computing. Well, that's it for this one, guys. As always, I'll have a link in the description down below to pandawill.com, which is where mine came from, uh, as well as a discount code that pandawill.com gave to me to pass along to you guys again. Anyways, thanks as always for watching, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Cheers.